Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh K YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create inclined column with base plate in Tecla structures. Just like this. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures with Indian environment. Now I am going to create column. So, click on steel and select this column. And zoom it. For example, let's take here. Click on here to place the column. Right click on mouse interrupt. Now I am going to edit this column height. So, zoom it here. Use the shortcut Ctrl 4 for render view. Now double click on this column to edit. You need to select this option. You need to deactivate it. Direct modification to speed up your system. Now come here. Let's take top level 3000 and bottom level 0 millimeter. Now click on modify it and close it. Okay, now we need to incline this column. 10 degrees left side so we need to create a uh, grid elevations so select this grid right click on mouse create views along grid lines you can type here elevation on grid elevation on grid and select and copy it ctrl c for copy and delete and use the shortcut ctrl v for paste it and click on create then click on ok and ok to open view list you can use a shortcut ctrl i and and maximize this window here now this column on grid b you can see this is the grid along grid b so select it elevation on grid b and click on this arrow to open the view and close it now we need to incline this column 10 degrees on left side then select it right click on mouse move special rotate but before doing this operation we need to set the plane this is the global axis we need to uh, change this uh, global axis to local axis so click on this view and click on here work plane this little arrow and you need to select this work plane tool now zoom it here you can place on this plane anywhere for example let's take here click on here to place this plane fix it x on this direction or you can place any direction like this also there's no issue so click on escape to exit the command now we have fixed this call axis x and y like this now we need to rotate this column along z axis so select it right click on mouse move special rotate and you can see we need to select first of all we need to select origin at here so click on here now we need to enter here anti-clockwise direction 10, 10 degrees from initial position to on left side if you want to move right side you need to enter here minus 10 degrees okay based upon your requirement you can enter value here for example let's take 10 and around z axis you can see now we have changed this z axis uh, in local axis so click on move and ok you can see now this column rotated 10 degrees now from horizontal from horizontal to this column angle should be 80 degrees ok now I want to measure this angle so right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse redraw view now click on edit click on here measure and select this angle now zoom it here pick the first point here center point now we need to pick the first point at the middle of this column or end point and pick the second point perpendicular to this axis you can see now have angle 10 degrees if you want to measure this angle you need to do same procedure right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse interrupt view now click on measure and select this angle and zoom it here pick the first point here as the center point we need to pick the first point at here and pick the second point at the end of this column to see the angle you can see now we have angle 80 degrees similarly you can change this angle according to your requirement okay now click on space right click on most read view to arrange this dimension now i'm going to create base plate at the bottom of this column so click on this window and select this 3d view and zoom it here now i'm going to create base plate so go to application components by using the shortcut ctrl f or you can click on here application components and search here 
base plate you'll get this base plate 1042 component so select this component and pick the main part as a column and pick the position at gradient section point right click on mouse interrupt and close this window and zoom it here currently this base plate exactly inclined to this column but this base plate should be horizontal along to the ground for example go to the elevation on grid b and zoom it here you can see now we have this angle here so we need to make it this base plate straight along to the x-axis so before we need to change this uh, local to global axis so click on this view and select this option work plane and you need to uh, change this local to global axis parallel to global axis so select this option and no need to change these values just click on change and close it you can see now this is the global axis you can see now z is a uh, vertical direction and x y on top view so now going to change this angle and the base plate so double click on this component symbol or you can directly double click on this base plate also to edit this base plate so click on this general tab in general you can see auto we have the angle here 10 degrees you can change this angle to zero and click on modify it now there is no changes at here so then click on here and select the axis z plus z and now make it zero here now click on modify to see the result you can see this is a z is the vertical direction of the base plate so we need to make it here y direction so click on here and select the plus y now click on modify it you can see now this base plate along to the y axis direction now we are going to change the base plate thickness so click on this path step let's take base plate thickness 16 millimeter now click on modify to see the result you can see now this base plate thickness should be 16 millimeter now go to 3d view so click on window and select this 3d view and zoom out and zoom in here use the shortcut control and mouse middle button to rotate this view like this okay now i'm going to change this bolt spacing so click on this bolt tab in bolts you can change the bolt size here for example let's take bolt size 20 millimeter and tolerance uh, for whole size so let's take tolerance 4 millimeter now click on modify to see the result you can see now whole size increased if you want to place the anchors here then go to anchors tab and let's take anchor rod click on here and uh, select this option circular section and circular rod and rod size 20 millimeter now click on apply ok to display anchor rod you need to select here base plate with anchor rod now you can change the anchor profile here and click on modify to see the result like this if you want to place the nut and washers then click on here and select the nut and similarly washer now click on modify it if you want to change the this nut profile then you can see washer profile and nut profile click on here nut profile and zoom, scroll it down and click on here usual define fixed now scroll it down and here we have nut here let's take nut m20 now click on apply ok now click on modify to see the result here like this nut now coming to bolt spacing here anchor spacing so go to bolts tab uh, in bolts this is the base plate length this is the width of the base plate now i'm going to change the lengthwise anchor rod spacing here from edge to anchor rod spacing let's take edge spacing here 100 and number of bolts in lengthwise you can see one and two rows so enter here two and spacing let's take 250 now click on modify to see the result you can see now the edge addition should be from edge to bolt 100 from bolt to bolt 250 from bolt to edge 100 for example if you want to place three bolts here then you need to enter here three in lengthwise you can see one two and three if you want to place three then enter here 100 millimeter now click on modify it and we're going to change here 125 now click on modify it you can see now we have edge distance 100 and number of bolts one two three and edge distance hundred 
okay use shortcut control 2 for transparent for column you can see now we have 1 2 3 in lengthwise direction we have spacing between these two anchors are 125 millimeter and edge distance 100 millimeter now coming to widthwise you can change this widthwise spacing also so for example zoom it here from bolt to edge of the plate for example we're going to take here 50 millimeter on both side now click on more height you can see now edge addition should be 50 millimeter from bolt to bolt spacing we're going to take here number of bolts two in widthwise you can see one and two rows now spacing between these two anchors we're going to take here 100 millimeter now click on modify it like this okay you can see now we have edge distance from bolt to edge 50 millimeter on both side and number of bolts two on widthwise this is the widthwise placeability so in Widthwise, we have number of anchors one and two, and spacing between these two anchors we have 100 millimeter. Okay, modify, apply, okay. Click on space, right click on mouse, letter view. Okay, use a shortcut control R and pick the rotation point here. Now use the control and mouse middle button to rotate like this. Okay, use a shortcut control 4 for render view for column. Use a shortcut shift to 4 for base plate render view like this. Okay, right click on mouse interrupt. Now go to elevation view. You can see now we have inclined column with the base plate like this. Click on window and set 3D view like this. Okay, that's it about how to create inclined column with the base plate in Tecla structures. If you like this video, please like it and share it. If you have any doubts, please comment below. For more Tecla structure related videos, please go to my channel youtube.com slash gany sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tackle structure related videos i hope this video is might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you